All right, here we go again. Here we go again. Let me start off by saying Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. I want to say salutations and much blessings and love to all the brothers out there teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Now, um, excuse me. This is my second, third time doing this video. It seemed like Satan. He's hindering me from doing this video. I spoke, you know, you know how it is, brothers. You know, you going in and didn't know that I wasn't recording. You know, I said a lot of things that I felt that though was edifying through the spirit of the Lord. But let's just do it again. All right, now this is a video, all right, that I saw from the brother Amawanga Bar. All right, this is his channel. Uh, the title of the video, he he called it New Foot Locker Commercial Depicting Jacob's Trouble. All right, and that's clearly, you know, the perfect title for this commercial that Foot Locker has, act, has put out. You know, it is depicting Jacob's Trouble. All right. And, you know, as you see on the scene, the scene screen right here, you know, brother getting zapped up in the midst of chaos you know this is exactly what's gonna go down man you know people may look at this and say oh boy it's just a commercial it's nothing it's just to sell a shoe well why did they make this commercial for nike michael's jordan shoe coming out the week of greatness why why did they have to make this commercial into something heavenly or something biblically. Because why? It goes back to the Nike goddess. Okay. Going back to these Greeks and their mythology. Their mythology. So let me do a quick um, Google search. Yeah, I got it up already. Like I said, I was dead in this video already. But I'm here to do it again. Now, Nike God. Just type in Nike God. And this is what comes up. You see the images here of an Edomite woman with wings. All right. So now it says... Uh, Nike was the goddess of the victory in Greek mythology, depicted as having wings, hence her alternative name, Winged it Goddess. All right. She was the daughter of a titan, Pallas, and the goddess Sax. All right. So, you know, just quick, nothing deep, just to let you know what this is. All right. Nike goddess. Nike goddess. Okay. Nike. The word Nike comes from. Greek mythology, meaning winged goddess, okay, in which the Greeks used to worship. When Alexander came on the scene and he conquered the, the, the nations in which he did, and his concourse, all right, the scriptures say uh, evils multiplied on the earth, all right? He brought many great evils, okay, upon this world when he ruled. And it was the heavenly father that helped him, that helped him to rule because it's all dealing with the lord's prophecies all right now that now that does not mean that alexander was a great man given to the world by the lord no it was the start of esau's rule in the world the blessing which the lord gave esau it was the start you know then you go down to antiochus epiphanes the fourth he came into power well he came and conquered ptolemy and took over the israelites man you know hellenized the shit out of israel and to this day like Dante Wilder, to this day, you know, Jake is Hellenized. You know, today you calling yourself Americans. You ask Jake, what's your nationality? He say, I'm American. You know, <laughs> straight up. And that just clearly tells you right then and there. We're not American. American is not a nationality. All right. But, um, you know, anyway, the Nike guy. So I see that they had, they think tanks, you know, for this commercial. Probably paid million dollars for this quick commercial because they do that millions of dollars for a commercial that's only a few seconds a few minutes you know put all that work and money and graphics all into this man but I, we see why because it's the worship of the greek goddess nike all right and if you want to get more into that all you got to do is google it i did it you know it's easy you know but this commercial i mean excuse me i don't want to go all the way i just want to cover this and kick this out before Satan messed the video up again. Anyway, so let's continue. You know, right here, this is also prophecy. This is Isaiah 5, um, 
Not Isaiah. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, which I want to read real quick. That picture alone is bad, man. Let's see if I can fix the video. Okay, there you go. So let's go down to uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 1. All right. All right, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face as before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labor because the righteous man is the prophets that's standing before you teaching on the streets, all right? Teaching the truth, I should say, because you got men out there that's teachings, but they're, they're wolves in sheep clothing, okay? They got doctrines that's, that's that that are that are made of their own uh pleasure, you know, not speaking truth of Yahweh Bashim El Shad. They actually adding or they're taking away from the Lord. You know, just like this character that came back on the scene named uh he's calling himself Elder Kornath. You know, he's saying that the Israelites are all Negroes. Now when I first heard that, I laughed because I thought it was a joke. But then brother shot me the video and I'm watching and I said, This nigga is crazy. At a time like this, at a time like this, we're at the end of the world. As a matter of fact, this video is so prophetic because it's, it's going to go down that way. We're approaching Jacob's trouble, man. And you want to talk about the Israelites, the 12 tribes, all Negroes, man? Get this nigga the fuck up out of here. You know, Salakia for my French, but get this guy out of here. He's out of his mind. But anyway, uh, for that picture, for this picture right here, all right, this picture, which you see, this is this scripture, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Same thing you're going to see in the video, the chariots, all right, which the world call UFOs. All right. When you see them, you're going to have terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond that they look for. See, they made this video because they're making mockery. They basically saying this would never happen. You know, this can't be. So let's make fun of it. Let's uh, put it in a, a fake video commercial and people will enjoy it. You know, it's a quick movie scene. Well, guess what? You're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. All right. It says um, so far beyond that they look for because they're not looking for this. This is the last thing on their mind. And then and then in the video, which we're going to watch, you're going to see that Jake. Two thirds. I'm gonna say the two thirds. They're not even looking for it being taken up because they worried about a shoe. It's also a slap in the face to you blacks and Latinos, man. It's a smack in the face because they're showing you how dumb you are. Because what happens when they uh, set release certain Michael Jordan shoes or certain video games or or uh, Black Friday? You niggas go fucking stupid for over material things, man. Just a couple of weeks ago, a, a nigga died from eating. A nigga uh, got killed. Let me say that. He got killed over a, a, a Popeye's chicken sandwich, man. Stabbed up. But anyway, and they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This was he who we had sometime in derision and a proverb and a reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. And that's exactly what it is. These Edomites, they believe that when we're teaching out there, we're fools and we don't know what we're talking about and this would never happen. But then they'll show you in a commercial like this of what we prophesize about, which the scriptures say. So you do the math. All right. You 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 get understanding and see who has the truth. You know, you should see it right now if you watch this video, you know. But anyway, let's play the video. We want it back some. Once again, like I said, this is the brother's video. You can go to the page to watch the whole video, you know. Uh, this is the brother. Let me uh, let me see something. Uh, GMS Awakening 144 Ba. All right, so you can go to the page and watch the full video, cause I'm just wanna get the clip that the brother got and he made the perfect title for it, you know, depicting Jacob's trouble, cause this is exactly what it's Jacob's trouble. Something is going to be like it's going to be like this man not entirely the way Esau put it out there as funny But this this is the shit man. This is what's going down. All right Let's say of the Lord Cities are reeling as the meteor storm 
zombie epidemic and alien encounters continue unabated. Hey, the brother me mentioned too, and you watch this video about the media showers. You know, they're saying that the world is going to end with media showers because they're depicting not America. They're trying to say they want to put spit off the image that the world is being destroyed. Nah, the world's not going to be destroyed. All right. Now, let me get this scripture. This is real quick. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Where you at? Okay, where you at? Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 4. It says, one generation passeth away and another generation cometh. So showing you reincarnation. There's reincarnation right there. It says, but the earth abideth forever. But the earth abideth forever. All right. So the Lord has the earth is going to be here. It's always going to be here. Those missiles, as the brother said. All right. I mean, excuse me. Those media showers that's depicted in this video are actually nuclear missiles, man. Because that's the difference within this video and in reality. All right. So let me continue. Safe to say, this is the best week ever. Debated. Safe to say, this is the best week ever. That's also right there. Bad picture right there, man. You know, I'm going to snapshot that. Man, that's a nice picture right there. You know? But besides that, you know, you know the octopus shit, because they're making mockery. You know? Esau would never tell the truth. he tell the truth mixed with lies. They put a, a social media star in here, you know, and uh, just showing you Jake. They're sponsoring Coca-Cola, Nike. They got people running around. It's the end of the world. And they got Jake sleep, you know. But like the brother said, man, just repeating, just basically repeating what the brother said, you know. And this day when this shit go down, you're not going to be looking for no Nike shoe. You're going to be scared out your mind, man. You're going to be running from what? Soldiers, you're going to be running from martial law. Soldiers, man. You're going to be hoping that you don't get detained. Okay? You're going to be hoping that you don't get vaccined and microchip. All right? This is America. This is going to go down here. All right? They're clamping down on, on YouTube. They're using, basically, through copper. They, they revisit and uh, revisit their policy and now... Through YouTube, they're basically bringing draconian law. They bring in a harsh judgment for you making a video, you know, on YouTube. So they basically want to take off the brothers because this is an attack on the word. They want brothers to not be able to speak and, and have a voice because they want to dictate and they want to narrate what uh, they've been, what they've been pushing is lies, you know, for you people to be deceived straight up, man. Clash. Yeah, and there you go. The goddess, the winged goddess. There it is. All right, the winged goddess. Nike. Are you wearing the new icon Clash? I need this in a size eight. I need a six. I need this in a sixteen. I got you. Not today. Hey, you saw that? Look like Lila, he looked northern, man. And he was getting zapped up. Meaning he was getting he was getting delivered, man. <laughs> they put that in the in the video, man. Zombies, man. These are these are the sickness, man. Th these are the the, the peasants, all right. That that's in darkness, man. It's gonna come upon you, people, man. As the scriptures say, all right. 
pestilence, man. Okay, airborne diseases. People are sick, man. Because ain't no such thing as no real life zombie unless Esau, you know, give you one hell of a drug, man. You know, and turn you crazy. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure it can be some real reality zombies, man. You know, through Esau's magic. All right. Hell yeah. Hey, kid, where are you headed? You know it's the end of the world, right? Yeah, but it's the start of the week of greatness. Hey, you know what? Hey, see how calm Jake is here? You know, to me, this this scene, you know, makes me think of how the elect is going to be. Why everybody going crazy and wondering, you know, why is you walking the wrong way? Everybody, look, you're going to see. <laughs> it's, 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 it's probably the elect right here, man. You know, what's that, Isaiah 65 and 11? You know? I mean, in fact, I'm just going to read a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Um... Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. It says, uh, it says, um, but ye are they that forsake the Lord, talking about two-thirds of our people, all right, you so-called Negroes and Latinos, that forget my holy mountain. The holy mountain is the Bible, the word, the law, okay? It says, that prepare a table for that troop and that furnish a drink offering unto that number. Who is that troop? Esau. Okay, who, what is that number? Two thirds. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. And that's what's happening. All those people. Okay. And all those Israelites that you see, they're what? Bowing down to the slaughter. All right. It says, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spec, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Exactly. Because you didn't want to hear the word of the Lord through the prophets. You didn't want to take heed. All right. And your liberty, you know, you 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 was given over to benefits, man. You 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 despise this truth. So the Lord said, When I spec ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. You know, being a bunch of homosexuals and proud fool, whatever, you know. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right, so going back to the scene, as you see right here. As you see right there, he's vexed. But the other brother, he ain't vexed, man. <laughs> he calm, cool, and collective. He's headed the opposite way in which they're going, you know. So this is um, this video speaks uh, 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 volumes, man. It's, you can get into this video and and read it through the spirit of the Lord, you know, in these scenes, you know. <laughs> it's weak of greatness, no matter what. You see that? So they just basically put out some food for two thirds to eat up because they want you to be like a zombie when it comes to them putting out this shoe. Because Black Friday is coming up. They need you to be stupid, man. <laughs> but, you know, men of the Lord, we see it with another eye. We see it with a spiritual eye. The spiritual eye of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And look at those chariots. This is another good picture right here. I'm a snapshot, you know. Like that, let's that you just take that foot locker shit away. But you see the chariots on the side, but then they got the bullshit, the uh octopus antennas and all that shit. But you know, you get the drift, man. You know? So let me see what else. And that end right there was the destruction, man. The thermonuclear missiles, man. You know? Right then. And look, right there is the destruction. And that's why they cut it off. That's that big bang, okay? Which America's gonna be destroyed, man. <laughs> and all you, oh man, yo, Salakia, you know, cause um, y'all people think this shit a joke, man. You know, this is a Nike commercial depicting Jacob's trouble and depicting the end of the world. You know, the end of the world of Esau. So, you know, I hope you guys were edified. It's my little two cents on the matter of this video. 
You can go watch the brothers Amawanga Bar and see the whole video. You know, he did a good take on it and um, put the truth out there, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.